Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about construction of window elements. So I'm going to go to in Apache, I'm going to go to the project constructions and I'm going to have a look at our current window that we have installed. I'm going to edit construction with a right click and this window I can see has a net U value 1.2, the glass has a U value 0 0.8. Now IES is capable of quite sophisticated modeling. We could build up planes of glass using a project uh, system materials heading down to glass we could build all that up and that would give us the values <clears throat> we could then alter things as and when adding cavities however for the purposes of just modeling the u values and if your building isn't massively glazed then there's a good chance the method that you'll use for altering the u-values is to alter the resistance of the cavity between them. This isn't necessarily correct from a building physics perspective, but it gets the right ideas across. So, if we increase the resistance, say if we had a 1.1 u-value window, so a very high performance window, then we can quite quickly get to the point where we have the correct U value there or thereabouts. If we want to alter the G value, then we can change the transmissivity of the glass. We're increasing it causes the G value to go up. So 0 0.4, this is quite a dark glass. We can alter factors about the frame, which if we have many variations of windows within a building, uh, then I don't recommend necessarily altering these, as what you'll end up having if you've got quite large windows of the same construct as quite small windows, then the frame factor will alter between them. So unless you want to go to the process of actually modeling those individually, take care with this. We also have the shading device. So if we have a um, inset window with a common detail, then we can actually show that a model of the recess, which can be very useful, particularly on repeat details. We can model a common external shade, and we can do internal shades as well and we can set up the logic by which that those open and close. These are very powerful tools and I urge people to have a play around with them. Okay, and okay, and like, like before, the way that we assign these is just through the Assign Construction tab. Thank you all very much for watching, I'll see you on the next video.